feet, imagine being hunted in the jungle by something you can't see. Something small, something intelligent, something that thinks like you. This wasn't an animal. This was a species of human. The year is 18,000 BC. You're on the remote island of Flores in Indonesia. The trees are dense, the air is thick with humidity, and strange sounds echo through the forest. Chew. Hear a rustle in the undergrowth. You dismiss it. Probably just a bird. Then, another rustle. Closer this time. You scan the forest floor, but see nothing. Suddenly, a tiny spear whistles past your head, its belly the size of a pencil. You spin around, heart pounding. There's no one there. But the forest is alive with movement. Shadows flip between the giant ferns. They're too small to be human. Too fast to be anything you recognize. This is the domain of Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbit. These aren't mythical creatures. They were a real human species. They stood just over three feet tall. Their brains were a third of the size of yours, but don't let their size fool you. They were masters of their world. They crafted sophisticated stone tools, miniature spears, tiny blades, all perfectly designed for their small hands. They hunted giant rats and dwarf elephants that roamed the island. They weren't just surviving, they were thriving. For thousands of years, these tiny people were the apex predators of Flores, they. And here's the twist. Scientists believe our own ancestors, Homo sapiens, arrived on the island while the hobbits were still there. Imagine it. Two different human species, one tall, one tiny, meeting in a forgotten jungle. It wasn't a friendly encounter, it was a clash of worlds. The hobbits would have seen our ancestors as giants, intruders. A threat? They wouldn't have run. They would have fought back. Picture a coordinated attack. Dozens of them, emerging from the shadows. Their tiny spears flying with deadly accuracy. Using their size and knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. Disappearing into the jungle as quickly as they appeared leaving chaos behind. Our ancestors had size and numbers, but the hobbits had the home field advantage. They knew every cave, every vine, every hiding spot on that island. This wasn't just a battle for territory, it was a battle for existence. In the end, only one human species would walk away. And the scariest part, we don't know for sure if they ever truly left.